Hey everybody, it's Paul from We Got Issues, and I'm here in New York City for the New York Comic Con. I am joined with Mark Brooks. Mark, thanks for being on our show, man. How are you today? I'm very good. Awesome. Um, so, I just had curiosity, what was the comic that like, kind of really inspired you, like that made you want to be a, a comic book artist yourself? Uh, it was two comics. Uh, the first comic I ever read was uh, Uncanny X-Men. I uh, picked that up when I was uh, nine years old. I yeah. have a spinner rack in a drugstore. <laughs> and um, it was that. And uh, one year my father went away on business to London and came back with uh, a couple of copies of Deadline magazine, which had a uh, short 12-page uh, story in the back of Tank Girl. Ooh, very yeah. And uh, so from that point on, you were just kind of sold that you just kind of kept drawing comics? I mean, little yeah. pictures? Yeah, it was comics. I mean, my father was a graphic designer, so um, I always had miscellaneous markers and pens and pencils around. Um, so I always had stuff to play with, and he was always really good in showing me how to do things sometimes. But, yeah, I mean, I was, I was always, when I was a kid, I knew it was comics I wanted to do. Right. Now, did you have a hard time transitioning from it being a fantasy to actually getting work and being hired? Yeah, well, I mean, no, because... It was hard to explain. I knew it would be hard to break in, right. but knowing it would be hard to break in, when I got all that rejection, it didn't deter me. I, I looked at it as a as a, a motivation to get me, make me, help me break in. So, you know, I knew that it was a job, even when my parents didn't. When they were saying it was a waste of time, I shouldn't be doing this. I knew it was it was a job I could do. I just knew it would take time, and I was willing to work for it. You know, looking at, at all the artwork, it's hard to imagine you were ever rejected. Was your artwork? different then than it is now? Has it evolved? Well, well yeah, that, that's what, what it does. I mean, I, I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as talent, and uh, people use uh, talent as an excuse rather than a reason. In other words, they'll say, I'd love to draw, but I can't because I don't have any talent. It's now an excuse. Um, there's no such thing. I mean, I was, I was, I was, I drew differently than this, you know? I worked, I got better and better. It was hours and hours and days and days and months, and you, you grow. Now, at, at what point did you feel like, I'm in, I made it? Uh, I got assigned Marvel Age Spider-Man at Marvel. And uh, I, I had quit my job a year earlier. My, my lovely wife had been uh, good enough to let me quit my job and focus on this 100%. Um, and uh, I got assigned Spider-Man. And I called my father, it was really funny, my father who never understood working in comics, as even as an artist, he didn't get it. I called my father and I said, um, Dad, I'm, I'm drawing Spider-Man, and it clicked. That's what that's what convinced him. Okay, so it is a job. Like, yeah, it's a job. So yeah, it was that. So who's your favorite character to, to draw? I mean, do, do you have a favorite that you kind of like doing over and over? Uh, I really dig drawing Nightcrawler a lot. Really? Yeah. I don't why know. why Nightcrawler? Well, I mean, I, I started off drawing X Men. I mean, I started uh, reading X Men, so it was my, my favorite book. And that character, something about the the the, the, the contour contrast of the lights and shadows. He just he's easy to draw, and he he's, he's just I, I can make him look good. You know, without much effort. Awesome. And uh, my final question: Do you have any advice for either artists or writers who are trying to get into the business? Uh, prepare for a lot of door slam and a lot of nose. And um, you know, you can you can use what happens to you as a motivation, or you can let it deter you. And luckily for guys like me who want to keep our jobs, it deters a lot of people. You know, but. You know that rejection and those those things that make you want to quit are the things that are going to make you better in the long run. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. See you later, guys.